Up for a spot of action? I don't get keener than this. Huh? Hmm. The Tower of London. Anyone care to tell me how we're meant to get past fucking security? I'd like to help, fam, but Nigel's just caught a whiff now. Before the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. Watcha. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? You got any other ideas? It's up to us to crash this big meeting Cass has got planned. If his project goes live, he's going to have all of London over a barrel. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Intriguing. Shoot me the details. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. Gonna be a piece of piss recruiting an Albion prick. They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking. Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. What's this bird story then, Bagley? Looks like she's a marked woman. Clan Kelly put a bounty on her head. Why? She's an underground bare-knuckle boxer. A rather good one, too. She managed to take down a mob-backed favourite in her last match. Now they're sending out an enforcer to make sure she never wins again. No one likes a sore loser, especially one with a murderous enforcer on staff. Bagley, can you locate the enforcer? Already done. Someone else sloughed off work, and now it's your turn. Let's do it. Fuck your mum. The enforcer we're after is here, currently enforcing some poor bastards headed to the pavement. If you take them out, our boxer friend may live to fight another day. Lovely. What a pack of do-gooders we are. Don't break out the tiny party hats just yet. 
We might have bought our boxers some time, but once Clan Kelly finds out what happened, they'll almost certainly want revenge. Suggest you warn her. I'm en route. To answer your rude question, yes, I do have an accent. Anything else? You've been activated. Do you need a minute? Lucky you. I'm detecting some Clan Kelly movement in the area. Let's not mince words. You're in danger. What do you mean? Clan Kelly is upset you beat their fighter, so they're going to kill you. We already dealt with the first thug they sent for you, but more are coming. Interesting. This will be good practice for in the ring, won't it? Unfortunately, the numbers don't lie, and they're standing in a force that would overwhelm even you. You need to go into hiding. We'll keep them occupied until you're safe. Right. Thank you. I most certainly owe you one for this. Enemies incoming. Come out and face me. You I found a high ranking clan Kelly member. It would be a good idea to convert them. safe so we can contact our fighter. were bastards, but not this petty. There's no concept of a fair fight left in this town. DedSec is looking to fill the ranks. You should join. Fine. I'm in.
Excellent. The more of us we are, the stronger we are. Welcome to DedSec. Yes, well, I'm ready to help however I can. Great. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. We're lucky word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform.
looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. Casualty. With the blood clot. Moving on. No one's here. Stay alert. Now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You're quite knowledgeable about Cass, aren't you? Yeah. I was Albion too, if you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. <laughs> he was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius, and I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. Shit! Put out an all ports warning! Project the director's position upstairs in the game shop. Can't wait to see it roll out. This is going to make our jobs that much easier and save us. You don't think it's going to make certain things better? Not a chance. The record cast takes turns dealing with construction. This door clearly requires a security pass. Well, that's just great. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. I think he likes part of the city that would maybe a little too much. I wouldn't let anyone else say Yeah, I know. In fact, there is always an element that can resist all right? Sure, but I thought we'd taken care of them. You mean dead shit? I agree. 
I've heard some talk on the street that they may be back in It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I've dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cass Senior's death. Show me. Internal Psych Assessment AS001 Subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Grand. They put someone incapable of processing their emotional baggage in charge of our security. Just grand. Yeah, well... Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. How's it going? Seems a bit tense. Oh, well, it's something else, is what it is. Uh huh. Yeah. How are you getting on with those metrics? The deadline is coming up quickly. We wouldn't do to miss it. He's presenting to the stakeholders right now. I know, I know, but if I mess this up, End the of the whole day, project is delayed. Shit. Shit. Oh, no, his house. husband's a shit, and his sister's don't the even shit. joke about that. I don't even want to think about what Director oh, Cass would do. Just, just make sure you get it done. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. I promise you, with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well. For one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? 
Uh, no, we'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets, illegals threatening our families, the police commissioner himself, assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard, but here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention, a building-wide security sweep has been initiated Everybody due to Dock Bridge. I warned you about that, forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. Bagley, I need an exit. Quickly! The catacombs, fam. Stay down and don't annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> 